How to raise your happiness and potential. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Anish Jagdiani. I'm the founder of Empowering Leaders, and we help all levels of management in companies improve productivity through in-house corporate training programs. The biggest problem today, there's only one thing that robs you of your joy, fulfillment, and happiness in life. There's only one reason why only 20% of people reach their full potential. And there's only one reason why traditional team retreats fail at most companies where people come back to the original behavior. And that is sabotage, where you come in your own way. According to Shirzad Shamim, the author of the book positive intelligence. He says, sabotage means the amount of time your mind is serving you versus the amount of time your mind is against you. The more your mind serves you, the higher your positive intelligence or PQ, the higher your happiness set point. So the question is, how do you know if you've been sabotaged? Well, if your dominant emotions are fear, anxiety, anger, frustration, and you're serious most of the time, your mind has actually sabotaged you, but your mind is working against you. If your emotions are mostly joy, happiness, gratitude, giving, and you feel playful, your mind is serving you while your internal friends. In fact, there's a book by Dr. Hawkins called Power vs. Force. He says that 78% of the world's population vibrate at low energy emotions of fear, anxiety, anger, and frustration. Sabotars are the emotions that rob you of your happiness no matter how successful you are. The, of course, there are 10 sabotars, enemies that rob you of your happiness. Of course, I won't go through all 10 of them, but the master saboteur enemy of the 10 is the judge that lives inside of you. The judge does its damage in three ways. Number one, you judge yourself negatively, you judge others in a negative manner, and you judge events and circumstances, causing a major drain on your happiness. The first damage, when you judge yourself, when your internal dialogue is, you know, I'm not good enough, or he or she may not like me, I'm not confident yet, I don't have what it takes yet. This causes you to overthink and overanalyze things, where you're always fighting with yourself. This burns up your valuable mental energy, causing you stress, burnout, and feeling stuck. The second damage, the second enemy of the judge is where you judge others. Where you quickly form negative opinions and impressions of other people. This prevents you from trusting people and makes your relationships more complicated than it should be. And the third enemy of the judge within the self is judging events and circumstances. This is where you are resisting the present moment by saying, you know, life should have been this way. I should have done that in the past or I should have. You keep shooting yourself. More stress, unhappiness and sabotage is caused by refusing to accept whatever your situation is. Resisting the present moment just amplifies your ego and the judge inside of you. So, by judging yourself, judging others, and judging events and circumstances causes you to live in one place called emotional prison, causing a major drain on your happiness and major stress and anxiety. So the solution is to move from the place where the mind is sabotaging you to the place where the mind is serving you. And the best way to do that is to raise your positive intelligence or PQ. And how do we do that is to label your judge. The way to do that is to give your judge a nasty name. Jerk, Darth Vader, Lethal Executioner, Mr. Ego, Crucifier, you know, whatever you feel is appropriate or inappropriate. So you need to create distance from your judge. Instead of saying, you know, I am not capable of this, you need to distance yourself from the judge and say that, 
my judge feels that we are not capable of this. My crucifier feels that there is no hope for better sales. Not I, but you label it create a distance, that's the key. By just labeling your judge and creating distance from it, this will take away all the oxygen from the judge and will not burn up your valuable mental energy. Doing this consistently will dramatically raise your positive intelligence and even your happiness set point. What next? We are now conducting workshops for companies on maximizing happiness and potential in the workplace. Here you will learn simple tools to weaken your 10 saboteurs and raise your happiness set point. Teams will become 31% more effective using simple strategies without any time-consuming team building programs. If you're interested, please send us an email on team at elgme.com should you want to meet and discuss doing this workshop for your company. I thank you for your time and look forward to seeing you in my next video.